Right, so Drummy, we've got the uh, the FA Youth Cup second round draw. We've got Rugby Town away. What do you make of that one? Yeah, it's, it's obviously pleasing for the lads to progress into the next round and, and try and build some momentum. I think it's, well, as we all know, with cup competitions, it's any, any, any side that gets through to the second round of a, of a national competition has some momentum behind them. It's sort of, certainly for rugby, coming out of the, it's not the <laughs> setup. They've won a number of games to get to where they are now, so again, I suppose it's a very similar setup and, 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 and talks for the City, City Liverpool tie. Well, we, we won't be taking anyone for granted. We'll have to do our homework and we'll have to, we'll have to make sure our boys are, are ready for the encounter. And what was the reflections after the game? Because obviously it was a, it was a great result against the City of Liverpool and understandably the lads were absolutely buzzing. But how do you as, as, as coaches and staff just keep them level-headed a little bit and, and say, you know, it was a, a great result, but we need to remain level-headed and calm going into the next couple of games? Yeah, it's funny you should mention that. We had, a, we had a conversation in one of our analysis sessions just the other day, just talking about the game, talking about the, the game after. And going back to my old mate Jim Bell, his, his adage was always never too high, never too low. And I, and I think, if anything, the boys, yes, you celebrate your wins, but whether they, they probably took it a stage too far, I think, in my view. Yes, they won the game, which is great, but once the game's done, dust yourself down, get ready for the next game. And I think it's it's getting that level of focus ready now and, and sort of preparing right. Yes, there's lots of good things in the City Liverpool game, but there's there's lots of things that we, that we still want to try and improve and, and sort of make sure it's in place, ready ready for the second round. And obviously individual performances, Jamie Nicholson was rewarded with uh, a place in the squad for, for Morecambe's next uh, game against Newport County. Uh, amazing for, for Jamie and it just talks about the, the work that he's put in to, to get to where he is. Yeah, it's, it's very important. It's very important for, for the academy in general. It's very important for the under-18s as a squad to see boys coming out of that setup and sort of getting at least getting looked at and, and, and obviously if they can get involved with the first team games and, and they're in and around the squad that's that, that's what the academy is all about so yeah we're, we're sort of delighted for Jamie he's had to he's had to be patient I suppose with with Connor with Connor sorry getting more chances than the most Adam Mayer's probably had more chances than Jamie so there's been two or three boys that have been sort of pushed into the first team and Jamie's had to be patient but I think if we're looking at consistency levels over the last two or three months for the youth team, I think Jamie's right up there. So, yeah, well deserved for Jamie. And speaking of academy graduates going on to represent the first team, last night we had Andre playing for the first team against uh, against Carlisle United. Really great achievement for uh, for Andre, isn't it? Yeah, I think he was probably surprised as I was to see him starting the game. He's he's, he's had his, his setback with his, his wrist injury and his, his rehab from that second Taking quite a while, so yeah, I was I was very su pleasantly surprised, shall we say, to see him start the game. Obviously, with with Cal falling down with injury just before kickoff, but no, he's he's, he's a great kid, Andre. For me, he's got a lot of potential. Uh, goalkeepers are always a difficult one to throw young goalkeepers into a first team setting. So Andre will be pleased to get that that sort of monkey off his back, I suppose, and get his first start under his belt. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully he can he can kick on from there. Now, looking ahead to the uh, the Rugby Town fixture, obviously they'll be hungry, just as hungry as we are to, to progress into the third round. Plenty of opportunities if we manage to do that. What's the message to the lads going into that game? Yeah, and again, it's a very similar one. We certainly won't be taking rugby, light, rugby lightly, but at the end of the day, the boys won't get a better chance than this to progress to third round of the FA Youth Cup. So it's, it's, it's again along the same lines. Pressure's in there. We're expected to win the game. Uh, we as staff expect the boys to win the game. We just got to prepare them in the right manner, and make sure that they take the game. Seriously, is probably an obvious one for them, but certainly take rugby for all the merits that they've got, and make sure that we get the game plan and and deliver that game plan to the extent that they, they come out the other side and into the, the third round.